Would you rather perform with the first band that you ever saw live or perform with the first musician whose album you bought? Oh, gosh. <laughs> it would have to be the first musicians, um, the album that I bought. And Which I was? think that was Bon Jovi, Slippery When Wet. Oh, okay. classic. Okay. If it wasn't that, it was like <laughs> Poison. It was right in that time period. So, oh, um, so and good. I did get to perform with Poison a few times now because of Rock of Ages, but never with John. Um, I, the Toxic Avenger, you mentioned that before. David Bryan wrote the music in that from Bon Jovi, but I would love to collaborate with John Bon Jovi. Um, so that, that would be amazing. Okay, we'd love to see it, putting it out there. All right, here's the next one. Would you rather, okay, would you rather have your musical journey be written into a play by Chris Dare? I can't pronounce his last Chris name. Chris Dorenzo. This is an amazing game already. I love it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Or your musical journey be written into a play by John Cameron Mitchell. Oh, what are you doing to me? You're <laughs> sorry. Me up real bad. First of all, that picture of Dorenzo. What is going on? I've never seen that picture of him. He is like giving me like gq i don't even know hamptons aspen like model <laughs> like what is happening there i didn't even know it was him at first okay that is a crazy picture and i kind of want that sweater um <laughs> john cameron mitchell is a genius um and so was chris um chris was amazing and in allowing all of us to collaborate on rock of ages offer suggestions, jokes, whatnot. A lot of things stayed in the show. Beautiful thing. Um, that doesn't often happen. That pretty much never happens. John Cameron Mitchell, uh, just just an icon. So I would have to say John. I would have, because he came first, only for that reason. Because okay, John, John came into my life first and Hedwig was a huge breakthrough for me. Um, as, a, as a straight male actor, uh, identifying male, um, to be able to work on that piece and for really from the outside in because of the makeup and, you know, really completely transforming uh, physically, it uh, it really allowed me to break through as an actor. Yeah. Awesome. Great answer. Great answer. All right. Here's the next one. Would you rather spend a week living as Mr. Hyde or spend a week leaving, living as the Toxic Avenger? <laughs> oh, my. In real life? Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, well, Toxie had a really hot girlfriend, even though she was blind. So, and Hyde, you know, he would stalk Lucy, but he never really got to like sleep with her, I don't think. Oh, maybe the one time he did. But that was sort of forcibly, and that was that's a, that's pretty gross. Yeah. Um, I think Toxie, that would be funny, because he's like a Jersey guy, and he has a super hot girlfriend, and ultimately... Toxie is Melvin inside mm -hmm. and he is just, he's just a nerd at heart, you know, who wants to save New Jersey. Okay. Well, we love Toxie. We love it. All right. Good answer. All right. Here's the next one. We got a few more. Oh gosh. Okay. Would you, <laughs> would you rather go on a journey to a foreign place or be a foreigner on a journey? Oh. Hmm. I like being the foreigner on a journey okay. I um I mean in a way they're kind of the same go on a journey to f to a foreign place I mean I, I don't think it changes much for me wherever I go I try to see everything I can experience everything I can um, whether it's in the states or somewhere all over the world I love to take home little things from um, all the places I go to or get something for my kid and learn something about a new culture. And, um, <laughs> you know, the people are so different all over the world. Women are very different, like the way they, you know, respond to you. It's funny. Um, so I think, you know, I'm, I'm tall and like, I probably stand out, you know, I don't just dress necessarily like this, but, you know, so I think, I think I don't, I don't, exactly exude American, um, mm. like he's an American kind of guy, um, which I love being an American, but um, 
I think I can blend in wherever I go if I, you know, if I make an effort to. So whatever. I just want to have good experiences. Okay. Perfect answer. Okay. Here's the next one. Ooh. Okay. This one's tough. Okay. Would you rather do an album of songs, but only from the sixties or an album of songs, but only from the eighties? Sixties. <sighs> yeah. Sixties. Yeah. Okay. Because it, to me, it's always about doing something different. And I feel like I've really done the eighties thing. And even though I love, and especially a lot of those artists there, they're a little different too. They're not like the typical ones. That I, it's a little small, so I can't see everything, but um, I see Tom Petty there and it's hard to see some of the other ones, but um, you know, Johnny Cash, Roy Orbison, mm -hmm. uh, what is that? The monkeys there, um, the doors, Hendrix. I mean, wow. I feel like we would like crush Roy Orbison songs. Like, well, I... thank you. Oh my god. I would gosh. love that. I I mean he is an incredible. We got to meet his family um oh. when I was on Idol and he had recently passed, I believe. Oh, um no. and uh that was a very cool experience. And yeah, the 60s I mean everything, you know, the the birth of like psychedelic, you know, um creativity and all of that, very cool. So I'm into like the West Coast uh even though I'm like a New York New Jersey guy. I, I always love like that West Coast kind of 60s, you know, Grateful Dead, Janis Joplin, all of that. Awesome. All right. We got two more. So would you rather <laughs> be an honorary member of Steel Panther or be an honorary member of NSYNC? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, I have been seeing Steel Panther for honestly like 20 years. Um, they used to be at the Viper Room. It used to be called Metal School. It was like on Monday nights and then it evolved and then it went to like Roxy. Then it went to the Key Club and then they started calling themselves Steel Panther and writing their own songs. I They have pulled me on stage so many times like post-American Idol. And um, I actually, when I was on tour with Steven Adler from Guns N' Roses from uh, the original... Um, Appetite for Destruction, we toured Australia together and we met up with Steel Panther. I performed with Steel Panther and they came and jammed with us and we partied very <laughs> crazy. <laughs> and that was like the last of my crazy days, basically, like some four years ago with them. And I've changed my evil ways since then. But so I've done the Steel Panther thing. So definitely in sync because Joey and Lance are dear friends. Chris as well. I don't know Justin. I know his wife. I worked with his wife. Um, and I don't know JC. Um, and they're just awesome. You know, I mean, those songs were great. And I can't really dance like that. So, and, you know, they would like dance me into like really good shape. I'd be like, what's up? A bye, bye, bye. You know, and they're, it's funny. They're all tenors. Like, so I don't know how they work it out. Um, but uh, they were all at the wedding, basically, like three fifths of, of NSYNC were at Ryan and Lexi's wedding, which was fun. I love that. Oh, yeah. man. Okay. I, they well. should tour even without JT. Like, you know, they should just tour. I don't know. I, I don't disagree. I don't disagree. I mean, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm with you on that. But all right. Here's the final one. <clears throat> Would you rather karaoke the song Shallow? with Aaron Judge, or would you rather karaoke Islands in the Stream with Tom Brady? <laughs> this is the best show I've ever been on in my life, <laughs> by the way. Thanks, you're very kind. Whoa. Oh, man. Oh, you're doing, you're doing so many things to me. Okay, so Aaron Judge, wow. Um, I am a diehard Yankee fan. It's just in my blood, just pinstripes in my blood. But, you know, I went to school in Boston, and when Tom Brady won the first one with the Patriots, not to take a melancholy turn, but 9-11 had happened that September, and you know, I lost my first cousin in the, in the World Trade Center, and everything was just so crazy. I was finishing up drama school. I'm like, what am I doing? And my, my Giants were out of it, and the Yankees ended up losing in, in the World Series. Um, so we all got behind Tom Brady and the Patriots. We kind of fair weather fanned them. But I always, as an AFC team, I always liked the Patriots. Bill Parcells coached there. He was a giant legend. A lot of ex-Giants went to play for him. 
So I love Tom Brady. And we're like kind of the same age, by the way. So I think I'd have to choose Tom Brady. I mean, because that would just be insane. And I've met him. And that was an awesome experience. Um, and I'll spare you the story. But um, uh, yeah, he's a huge guy. You know, you don't realize how big Tom Brady is. And obviously Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge is a monster. I mean, but he he's still young. I'll run into him eventually. Tom Brady. Yeah, fair. Now, Collins in the stream. That, I mean, can he do the harmonies? I don't know if he can harmonize with me. I, I don't but. know. But who's the Dolly? Who's the Kenny Rogers? That You got to work that out, too. I would so. probably have to do the Dolly part. So. Okay. Very fair. Very fair. Well...